Look, the real reason I'm here is for coffee or something. Why did you have to be underhanded? I don't find that appealing, Frank. I was going to ask you out for coffee or something, but I didn't think you'd go for coffee or something. I'll pay for the coffee or something. Forget that. You could if you wanted to. Go for coffee or something. It's basically about coffee or something. That's not the point. You probably couldn't get coffee or something. That goes without saying. Forget that, you smug cocksucker. Fuck you. Coffee or something. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. I was listening to that guy on, on TV, Dr. Phil, and he was talking about a similar situation, and he said that... You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm going to kill you, give me $200. If you wanted to, there's no set rules, it's basic, and you probably couldn't get sued. That's not the point. This is the place, and that's the Dr. Phil. So that being said, if you don't like me, if you don't listen to that Dr. Phil on, on TV, or whatever, then the matter will end here, and I will never ask you again. You can be honest. Explain to me, okay, why this is a matter of such importance to you. There must be plenty of men out there. Dr. Phil, yes. different from what's out there. Not to mention being dropped dead beautiful. My training teaches me to go fairly quickly. Jesus Christ almighty, come on, will ya? Why can't I do something that's just for me? Dr. Phil, for a change? Well, I want Dr. Phil. And not just for the smart things he was talking about on TV. I, I, I want, I want Phil skin. I want Phil mouth. I want Phil eyes. You project all these qualities onto Dr. Phil. This is what happens to you, underhanded. Smug cocksucker. Well, fuck you. Respect. You know, forget about the way that Dr. Phil makes his way in the world. It's just to feed his children. It's two Dr. Phil. You've never seen the other one. That's the one I want to show to you. He don't know what's that. No what I need some end So now you know what he was. Smoke cocksucker. Hello. Yeah, before you ask, I am Dr. Phil. How are you, Anthony? It's been a long time. I'm Dr. Phil. Actually, you? No. Well, you probably couldn't get a sense of life, right? And how is life? Good, good. Well, I'm separated. You can hear the fill. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Well, I always thought I saw some good things there. Two healthy kids. Other than that, look, the reason I called, I'd like you to have detergent for me. Since we're not going for coffee or something. No more, and I'm a bachelor again. That's very thoughtful of you. Unfortunately, because of our prior clinical marriage, I just can't do it. What, eat? You must be a tooth. Of course. See, I, I knew you were going to say something. That goes without saying. I can't, Anthony. I'm sorry. 
You know, I waited him, 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 I waited him. I waited a, 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 a respectable period or whatever before making this call. Well, then you realize yourself there's something not quite right about us. No, I'm not under touch. Of course, what's wrong with you? I don't know, but we'll find out. Leave it to Dr. Phil.